Confetti Club, it is Pixie, and today is the first video in hopefully a little new series type thing if you guys enjoy it. In my years as a YouTube viewer, I mean, like, it blows my mind to hear some YouTubers that just don't actually watch YouTube content. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but just because it's all I ever want to be doing. And it's also something I need to do adjacent to all other types of content. And one of my favorite YouTube genres or trends to watch is red carpet reviews and like red carpet celebrity designer fashion reviews. Just so fun. The celebrity, the, the drama, the design, the designer behind the scenes, sometimes funny things happen and it b becomes a big skindal. And I always love these types of videos and watch them from other people. Like I love Grace Helbig's, they're really, really funny. Um, but I didn't feel like I would have any like funny or interesting insight. I don't know, just I felt like I didn't know what I was talking about. Now I'm in design school and I have a, a little, little bit of an idea of a little bit more of fashion stuff up in here. And I thought, what better a time than now with the Grammys to do a designer student red carpet review. I feel like I need like a cute name for that. That's, can that be a fun confetti club mission, AKA Jillian didn't think of one. Can we think of like a catchy little slogan? A catchy little phrase? Confetti club marketing team, <laughs> work your magic. I thrifted this blouse like probably a year or two ago and the neck hole is way too small on me so I just wear it open like this. Am I a cool mom at the skate park? I'm just gonna crack open me ye olden uh, Precure Chromebook. <laughs> I pro this probably needs to upgrade at some point. It's very spaghetti saucy. Now please respect my opinion about elegant red carpet reviews. <laughs> Oh, I have to say all of the celebrities' names. Oh, no. And I also, okay, extremely important preface, actually. I really, really want to be clear that I am in no way making fun of the celebrities or the actors or the, the people wearing the things. I'm not making fun of anyone. I, I don't know. I haven't even looked at them yet. Whew, sometimes in these red carpet reviews, I find people can roast like the appearance of the person wearing the dress and it becomes like a whole gross thing. It's, first of all, it's the designer and the stylist that like put the celebrity in the stuff. And second of all, it's all just art. So even if someone looks a little goofy or even there's, if Lady Gaga wears a meat dress, you know, it's all just art and expression. And I don't know. I don't think Margot Robbie's stylist is trying to kill her. I think it's just subjective. So that said, let's get into the looks. First off, we have Janelle Monet. Okay, I don't keep up with movies or like anything or TV or anything and I am very bad with faces and names and everything. So please forgive me if I just seem like I live under a rock not knowing who any of these people are. Wearing Ralph Lauren and Forever Mark jewelry. This is just like a beautiful glittering disco ball and I love the way that it drapes. This looks like just like a giant circle skirt tablecloth but made out of like a disco ball fabric. It's very flattering on her figure. I feel like it looks like it's it's about 300 pounds, the dress in like covered in rocks, um, which honestly would probably be like a very meditative experience. Billie Eilish in Chanel. When Billie Eilish first like you know, was popping around the media. Honestly, I wasn't sure how I felt because I heard her on the radio for the first time and I just, her music, I feel her feelings. I got so sad. I was like, I can't listen to this because it just, I feel like a sad 16 year old in a ditch. Like it brings me back. But I love her style and I've watched more interviews and she's just so talented and her voice is amazing. Amazing. And her voice is amazing and I stan. I do stan. I don't follow her closely, but I stan. And I just, I love how she's always in these bizarre, oversized, like it's such a rebellious teenage thing to do, to be like, yeah, I'm famous and I'm on the red carpet and I'm like really grateful, but I also still have to kind of like 
you know, go against the grain. I'm not gonna wear a dress. And I'm not even gonna wear like a, like a sexy little pantsuit. I'm gonna straight up wear like the most oversized men's cut. I love it. I respect it so much. And the hair is so iconic. Billie Eilish is like totally such an icon. But uh, this is amazing and very interesting. Billy Porter in Custom Giles, Decon Couture, Swarovski, and Jimmy Choo shoes. This is really, really cool. I guess I'm not used to seeing dresses that are made specifically for a man's body in like a masculine tailoring way. It is so cool. Cause yeah, it goes all the way down to like his hips and that's where the skirt begins. So cool. It's like a masculine cut on the top with the little, little mandarin collar number, this little feather situation, very, very lush. I just, I'm drenched in gold flakes. I like it, not my style, but like, cool. Laura Dern in a pink Armani privy gown. I'm, I'm gonna also be a fashion poser and probably say some of these designer names wrong, I'm sorry. Okay, I have some negative feelings about this. Should I talk about that? Are we, is this, am I going to be problematic? With black tassels. This is not bad. It is a, it's a lot of heavy black, like very, very bold, oh my God, look at her neckline and those tassels though. And then the, the dress, I mean, it's, it's not draping in the most beautiful way that a dress could drape. I, pr I just, I don't know. It looks like she's wearing like a beautiful 20s flapper black fringe bra. And then the whole rest of her seems like it disappears into the background. She's like a floating ghost. <laughs> but it's fine. We love it. Tassel boob. Pop off. Ooh, okay. Scarlett Johansson in a custom Oscar de la Renta gown. Oh, wow. Okay, this is beautiful. These images are not the best and also um, it's really sunny and bright in here and I can't like overly see the best, but she is just like dripping in, in loveliness. It's beautiful. It's just she has such a body yaddy yaddy that you could put anything on her, but God, does this just make her look like a unreal, so beautiful. I I will never look this deliciously expensive. Okay, Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot. Oh my God, I've heard too mm. In a black and pink Givenchy, Givenchy, <laughs> kill me. <laughs> Givenchy, Givenchy, right? Oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get learned in the comments. Haute couture gown. Um, yeah, this, this is pretty, Nice. I can't really see what's going on at all. I feel like I should look this up on my phone. This is not my favorite moment. I'm- I feel bad saying anything negative, but this is what the video is for, okay? This is just opinions. This is just designer time. This is just fun, fun fashion review. I don't love this. This kind of reminds me of things that I used to get at this fast fashion store, Stitches, in our mall. And it would be like the most elastic, nasty, plastic lace that was just the lace made of elastic and if you got a hole in it it would just go doink, 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 blah, 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 forever blah. i feel like i've seen this at the mall and that is like my least favorite thing to say but i don't know i just really don't love it i bet up close it's very very beautiful but maybe in this photograph it just online it reads like oh romwe i'm sorry gal i love you oh oh my god this is a fish with mouths Olivia Coleman in a midnight blue and white Stella McCartney gown. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't, I can't read <laughs> any other way. This is just giving me Pisces midnight D&D &D fantasy. What is going on? Is that a cape? It is a cape. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, midnight blue. Oh, oh. I feel like I could just splash into the pool of midnight that is this dress. I love velvet, whatever this material is, velory, velvety, beautiful, whatever this fabric is with that pile that's making it shine like black in the front and blue on the sides. I assume that's all just the same velvet and not like two different materials. This is beautiful. And the fact that her little shoulders look like fish mouths eating her shoulders, that probably for most people would be a, uh, a thumbs down, but that is what made me uh, choose to put this in the video. <laughs> oh. 
Her name is Sandra O. Oh, and when I saw this, I went, oh, this is just like what red carpet should be in my brain. Beautiful, over the top, just sparkly and roughly. And oh, it's like a prom dress and a Christmas present all in one. She looks lovely. I love this big, fluffy, textured sleeve in contrast to the super sleek, like heavy looking uh, rhinestone or glitter or whatever that gorgeousness is. It's a nice contrast. And to have the fluffy, kind of feathery looking stuff at the very bottom is also interesting because it's kind of like, it looks like it should be heavy, 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 and then it's like, oh, I'm in the clouds. Oh, okay, I can't not mention this. Natalie Portman in Dior Haute Couture. This was the look to definitely make most of the headlines this award show uh, because she had all of the names of the female directors, I believe, that were snubbed or that like weren't nominated, embroidered along the lining of that robe, which is just incredibly badass and I can't pretend like that's not the coolest thing ever. She looks also she's in all black and it's just the most badass statuesque silhouette she looks like she's in mourning for the women that were snubbed but she's also like here and chic and like ready to avenge and just the also the dress underneath is extremely beautiful i love all the gold i'm obsessed with gold i, uh, I love gold Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, this I also really don't love. Greta Gerwig in an olive Dior haute couture gown and Bulgari jewelry. I just, I'm really sorry. It, I don't think I, olive is a very difficult color to make maybe luxurious. And in this choice, oh God, is that a little tiny skinny belt? Why? Fur on the bottom is what just makes it such a crime. This looks like if you took Coop from Heart Catch Precure and made him into a dress. And the, I don't know, I feel like the Bulgari jewelry could kind of redeem it, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't. It reminds me, it just, it's the color. The color is Shreky. I'm, okay, beautiful woman, I'm sure she's great. No on the dress for me. Who did this to her? Oh, Sha Sharsha! We have Sersha Ronan in a Gucci gown. Out of all of like the haute couture big fashion houses, Gucci is definitely up there in my faves. We have like a periwinkle wood print situation. Okay, I just said I liked Gucci, but, <laughs> and I know Sersha Ronan, but looking at this in actuality, I, uh, this might have to be a no from me. I'm sorry, my friends. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Florence Pugh. Pugh, I assume, like Hugh, like Neutron. Jimbo. Florence Pugh in a Tia Louis Vuitton dress. Okay, I actually really, really, really love this. This is probably like my favorite, maybe one I would be most willing to wear so far. Just so fun. I feel like it looks like it could have been in like a set of Polly Pocket silicone clothes, like like 2000s Polly Pockets. Super cute. I love the little belt actually. On the poor Greta, on Sweet Greta's dress, there was also a little like matching belt buckle where the belt buckle is covered in the fabric of the dress and like I was not feeling it there. Here I am. I feel like it's bigger and more of a statement and like she deserves to be there. The belt buckle, not the human. <laughs> and these just, these are such fun, such fun gills. <laughs> I like that I said I'm in design school so I know how to talk about fashion now. I love your dress skills. No, all those tears are super, super fun. And I like that, you know, it's, it's, they took like a whole dress, like an underlayer, and then on each strip, the individual strips aren't gathered, which is cool. Um, usually on a dress like this, not usually, but oftentimes you'd see like each tear is ruffled itself. But here it's like each one is just like, hmm, hmm. It's my turn. Hi. And the shoe, the strappy little shoe. I think this could have been ruined if it wasn't styled well, but I really, really like the styling. 
Brie Larson in a caped Celine gown. Um, I like Brie Larson and I like this. This is very beautiful, very classic. Again with the capes. Capes are back. All women deserve to be superheroes. Thank you very much. Very down with everyone having capes. Um, I thought she had pointy little shoulder pads, but that is just the background. My biggest critique so far I feel like the Oscars like runway background this year was not helping anyone. This is lovely. All of those leading lines just sculpt the figure, even the waistline. See how it goes up in the middle a bit and it's just like the perfect classiest little amount of clivage. Oh, and the hair. Like how dare you be so effortlessly beautiful. Is that like a personal attack or something? Oh, uh, she looks like a princess but like a ruler. She's a ruler. Oh, okay. Caitlyn Denver in a Louis Vuitton gown. This is very fun. This is very like, if, is it mean to say dated? I feel like this is something I would have seen on a runway in like a while ago. It's interesting, like pinup-y vibe sort of kind of. And what is on it? Is it covered in little barnacles? It looks like it's a red pinup dress covered in little purple barnacles. I honestly am gonna have to give this one a, 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 a. <laughs> I don't think the styling is really helping her much either. And I, I, I just think there might've been a, a bit of a fit issue and a, and a, yeah. I don't know if this is the most working. We have Margot Robbie in a vintage Chanel gown. Isn't Margot Robbie the one that they say on Twitter, like her uh, her stylist is trying to kill her? <laughs> stylist hate, yes! Oh my God, her name's Kate Young, you poor thing. Okay, I've seen this memed online and I just read a thread once and I'm not very in on like the tea, but I think she looks absolutely lovely here. I don't know if Kate Young was her stylist in this situation, but she's in a vintage Chanel gown, black, sleek, very long. She has these little arm tie sleeves that go very, very long. That is a thing we just learned in fashion history that they did at some point in the Middle Ages because like length became a thing. I don't know, it's funny seeing it like return in the red carpet in 2020. It's just a simple, honestly, it's pretty safe, but like, for all the memes I've been seeing, I was really prepared to like keep my eyes out for Margot Robbie in the future. This is lovely. I, honestly, it feels very fashion history, especially with that like lapis lazuli little emblem situation there. I don't know. I think she looks great. Red, blue, it's fine. Also, I, I know that everything I wear is rainbow. I don't, like, you don't have to comment <laughs> and say that I don't have the right to like critique the color spread. It's, it's, I'm just trying to make content for you. <laughs> Lucy Boynton in a Chanel gown. I do not know who this lovely lady is, but this is just such a cute little dress. I love a Peter Pan collar. I love a Peter Pan collar on a quirky girl with a sweet little blonde chunky bob. <laughs> it's just, mm, there's a type. This is so cute. The sleeves are so fun. Is that like a little a little plaid situation with a little a little tool situation? Despite having no color and being totally black and white, I love this and it is super super cute. Oh, my lord. Rooney Mara in a black lace Alexander McQueen gown with side cutouts. I live for this. I live for a bold statement on the runway. I like doing things that seem like they shouldn't be done and wearing things that are like, hmm, is that person covered? Is that person naked? Who knows? Trick of the eye. We're all naked underneath. Who cares? Uh, this is gorgeous. The shape is really, really interesting. Oh my God, it's like a backwards racer bag. It's like when you put your racer back on backwards, but like with a bra and it's just all beautiful and lacy and the cutouts and her little like ribby ribs. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I feel like there could have been something maybe more interesting going on on the bottom half. It kind of is like, oh my God, what's going on with the and the and the ooh and the, and then it's like, <laughs> oh yes. 
Hmm, uh -huh. Kristen Wiig in a vibrant red ruffled dress. Why are you not gonna tell me the designer though? <laughs> Did she make this? This is iconic. Again, I live for making a statement and wearing things to a red carpet or, you know, a big celebrity award event like this that's like, hey, what the fuck is Kristen wearing over there in uh, seat EG? She looks like a, a beautiful living coral. I'm not gonna bring out the V word. We all know it's happening. I love it. I live for it. It's just like femininity exploded in an abstract, confusing way. And she has the black elbow length gloves to top it all off and the pointy little shoe. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I love being confused. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Katriona Belf in a Valentino haute couture. I think they meant to say dress. This is amazing. I am not familiar with the uh, actress or the, the person wearing this dress, but wowza. Very interesting silhouette wise. Okay, this reminds me of, if you guys haven't seen the SpongeBob SquarePants musical, please watch it. I bought it on YouTube, not to like shill for YouTube, but like you can buy it on YouTube and YouTube movies. Watch it, it's amazing. This reminds me of the amazing four-legged pants that they made for Squidward. It's amazing. I watched the entire musical just for those pants, watching how they move and interact. Like I just made pants in class for the first time and looking at these just, oh my God. I like this overall. Again, would I want to perhaps wear this where my thighs are the largest part of me and um, I like to accentuate my waist? Probably wouldn't be the choice for me, but she looks freaking iconic. And the middle part, I feel like if she had any other hairstyle, this would be not as good. But just that black, iconic, very graphic, like, it's like two commas in this picture. Just like, wamp, wamp. Julia Butters, butter me up, little queen. Oh my God, she's smiling. Okay, this is what I would have worn, thank you very much. And a youthful, frilly pink Christian Siriano dress. Oh, okay. We have some tiered, ruffled sleeves. Oh, she is a youth. Okay, I guess it's youthful because she's a youth. Leave me alone, I want this. It's like a cute little button up shirt with these frilly, frilly sleeves. And then just like a princess skirt. Ah, and the bag. I love that giant sphere bag that is just so unpractical that you could only use it for like, Literally events where you go to hold things and like pose. I love the impracticalness. Yes, she looks amazing. She looks amazing. I love her. I don't I don't care if it says youthful and if she is a youth, I would wear this. It is the best. <gasps> Sandy Powell in a cream suit featuring autographs from various actors and directors. Oh my god, who is Sandy Powell? Why do you look so cool? British costume designer. She has been nominated for the best costume design. Oh, you are badass. What is OBE? Most excellent order of the British Empire. Oh my God. That's fancy. <gasps> okay, this person is very fancy. You are iconic. Your glasses are iconic. I gotta get me some of those. I gotta get me some like I'm a designer glasses. Oh, with the, the bright orange nails and the bright orange hair and the lips and the tie and the black high and then the black going to the to the finger knuckle. So just every little detail. The little like almost orange tan sole of the shoe. Um, you look amazing. I wish I looked like this person. Well, my friends, that is the end of my first Pixies fashion red carpet. Uh, designer, design student reviews red carpet looks. Please help. <laughs> I hope this was fun. I hope that um, nothing came across as judgmental or like, nah. Stacy's wearing that blue dress and she looks hideous. Like, ugh, look at her thighs. Like, none of that. None of that is what this is. <laughs> I had fun and then I feel like I'm actually in the in the loop of society sometimes. Oh my god, things happen outside of my window. Who knew? This video's Future Confetti Club member is 
Keenry, I really hope I'm saying that right, on Instagram, who did this absolutely lovely illustration of my face. Oh my god, it's like a portrait. Oh, I love this. This is like how I want my eyeballs to look. I'm very glad that my eyes are so brown, they're almost just black, and I'm just attempting to make it so graphic that I just look like an anime character. And here you have captured my vision. I love it so much, thank you so, so much. It's beautiful. The rainbow colors are very excellently procured. Thank you so much for your support. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. Bye!